Alright guys, this is Jamal116, and I've got another thing to show you. Giant mysterious thing in the background, which definitely has nothing to do with my next Redstone project. Hint, hint, hint. Anyways, <laughs> um, this time I have a slot machine built for you. It basically rolls the stuff semi-randomly, not really that random, and then it gives you an item, so. Oh yeah, and my brother's back again as he so politely reminded us in the chat. So anyways, we're going to get this started is we're going to hit the insert credit button slash coin and then we're going to spin. So you'll notice that all these go back in and all the torches turn off and if you would do me the favor of hitting the buttons for me, hit the buttons, there you go. So, let's see which reels he's stopping first. Can't help but notice nothing's stopping. That would be because it's not on. How about we turn on? How about we turn it on first? Okay, now hit the buttons. That should do it. <laughs> I was stupid. So there we go. So he rolls a two for the first one, a two for the second, and a two for the third. So he gets a gold ingot. Plan on getting that anytime soon. So yeah, the way the prizes work is that if you get t three ones or three twos, it'll give you a gold ingot. Here, fly back up and put in the Spencer again. Gold ingots. If you get three threes, you get diamonds. If you get two of any of them, like two ones, two twos, or two threes, you'll get iron ingots. And if you get a one, a two, and a three, so you get no matches, then you'll get zombie meat. So, let's move on back and show you how this works real quick. Here, uh, stay out here. Hit the buttons when I tell you to. Okay. So, first off is the randomizers. You'll see when the power's on. Basically, just a whole bunch of piston clocks set to different delays. And they're all hooked over to here. So, for instance, uh, hit the stop real one button. You'll notice that when that happened, some of the pistons went up. It'll let them through, and the first one to turn it on, basically, that trail will go off, keep the other ones on, and that will go over here and activate the piston wall and the torch on the other side there. So yeah, all the randomizers work that way with one master one up here to decide which pistons will go on or off at any given time. It's like every other one there. You can see that. So yeah, there's that. And every randomizer works like that, as well as all the different memories. You'll see all the middle lines are off in there, because he got all twos in a gold ingot. So now for the logic. What you'll notice here, here, tur turn it off. It's getting laggy. <laughs> Alright, so you'll notice when he turns it off, all the pistons stop. Just so less lag. Anyway, so you'll see these trails up here. All of these go over to these towers. You'll see right now the second one is off. And these go up. And it's basically just this distorted AND gate. You'll see those are basically the two torches on the end. The, those two pieces of dust are the one on the top. And that's the one torch in the middle for the output. And that goes up here to this dust. Now, for the logic, we'll start with the, um, I believe, the iron ingot, I believe is uh, this one. Yeah, it's this one. Now if I can find the path. So what this leads to is through here, you'll see that if any one of these AND gates go off, which means if any two of the numbers are the same, then it will come activate this trail. Normally there'd be a block there, but I'll get in the piston really soon. And that would turn off the torch for the zombie meat dispenser. All of them do so to the gold and the diamonds and everything. So that turns off the torch for the zombie meat and turns off this torch in the AND gate. The other torch is turned off by when all three of the things are entered, when all three reels are stopped, and the other torch in the AND gate is turned off so you don't get any undeserved prizes because I'm, I'm cheap. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm sure many of you know the backstory on that. But anyways, so now for the diamonds and gold. You'll see here and gates. 
if any basically after these AND gates, if two of those AND gates show the same thing, then it's basically guaranteed that the third one will show that same thing as well. So you do an AND gate, this is for the one and the two. So in this case that's the two. You'll notice one of these AND gates is turned on, so is the other one over there. So that torch comes over here. It will go over and turn off this torch for the AND gate to the gold as well as turning off the torch for the zombie meat over there and also it will go over here along with the torch for the diamonds and activate that piston so that you will only get a gold and not a gold and a piece of iron as well and it's basically the same for the diamonds except they're hooked up to threes it does the same thing and so now there's a bonus thing so for instance we just got a couple gold so here roll again so yeah, he's gonna go roll again so we just got two two and two so we're going to go get another gold. I'm just going to set it up. I'm not going to worry about it. Did you do it? Did you roll again? I don't... There you go. Okay, now. Okay, there you go. So. So we're just going to get more gold. Yeah, there you go. Now you did. So. Two. I'm just staging it. Two. And two. And why'd you turn the randomizers back on? Turn them back off! <laughs> anyway, so you'll see he got a 2-2-2, two, two, and two, and so right now he got this gold ingot. Now, if you'll pass me the one, here, there, we now have two gold ingots. If you were to open up his inventory, throw them on the ground there. Throw them on the ground. On the ground. <laughs> throw them on the ground! <laughs> okay, fine. He, to he put the one back in the dispenser because he's a nice boy like I told him to. It's on the ground. <laughs> so as you'll see, there are two gold ingots. Well, he has one in his hand. Okay, two. So now if you'll roll again for me, pick up those gold ingots. So normally if he gets another gold, instead of... He, you'd think he'd just get... Uh, here, I'll, I'll roll. You're taking too long. <laughs> All right, there, I can hear the pistons coming. <laughs> anyway, so if you were to get another two, you'd think that he would just get another gold ingot. I wired it up so that it's a bit different. Said you get what I call a storm. So you'll notice it's currently spewing out more than one piece of gold because you just got three twos in a row. I think it does nine. Yeah, oh my god, tons of gold. Like, oh my god. <laughs> so yeah. If you were to throw those out, I'm not going to... Okay, there you go. He's throwing them all out. They're all stacking up, though. But there is... Here, I'll pick them up. There are... Where's the other one? There's one more. Oh, well, maybe not. But, so now, you got extra gold. So now, there's ten pieces of gold here. Instead of three. They used to, it used to give you eleven. But, no, I guess it's just giving you ten now. Anyways. And that works by a counter. So, for instance, whenever this gold one is activated... It's a monostable circuit, so it's reduced to one pulse. This is actually a Seth Bling's counter. He put it up a while ago, so the one pulse, the sticky piston pushes out and leaves the block there. And then it goes on after three times of that. Activates this really long monostable circuit, so it'll stay on for a while and then turn back off. And that goes down to another piston clock, which goes over and basically just spams on this dispenser over and over again. And this is so that when you'll notice that block goes down like there, so that when it goes on and off like that, it can keep on dispensing more gold. So yeah, that's hooked up also to this monostable circuit here. And then the same is over for the diamonds, except that's over on this side here. And you'll notice right now that the diamonds are all extended. This is the counter resetting itself because I didn't roll, I didn't get a diamond. So whenever you don't get a diamond, it'll reset. In that case, whenever you don't get gold it resets. So you've got to get three diamonds in a row or three gold in a row. So it's kind of hard and you got to get lucky. But anyway, so yeah, that's my slot machine. I'll do one more just because it's fun. So I turn it on. So you'll see they all go out. They should. Oh no, I didn't hit spin, I guess. Okay. So they all go back in. And I can hear it in my headphones. And so I'll just stop them all. One, two, and three. So I got a one, 
a three and a three, so I got an iron there, because I got two threes. Iron. So, yeah. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to leave a rating, because I like ratings. That's, <laughs> that's it.